but somebody always reminds that. Now it's recording. Now, in the chat section, there's a link I shared. Please, everyone, copy this link, put your browser, and you will access a survey like this, but you need to put your school email address, the one with at LIS or at Light Academy mail address, and fill this form. You just your name, your branch, and you will fill with your email address. Please do that now, because with that, I'm going to create a Google Classroom only for KG teachers and we will share assignments. We will upload assignments there. I will give you some tasks to complete. So that is needed. Can you please do it now, now? I'm not receiving any responses. Dear teachers, are you doing it? Yes, first response came. Let me stop sharing. Continue, please fill the form very quickly. This form is only for KG teachers, or only for teachers, I mean. Two responses, or CJ, you feel it too, <laughs> it's okay. Madame Susan Field, yes. This is also a small test for you to see how quick you can fill a form copy a link, paste a browser. We have 30 participants. And only five responses so far. Please put your full names properly, no spelling mistakes. You can put them all caps. Yes, another one, six, seven. I can follow this real time here. Mr. Brent filled it, thank you. Yes, data is trickling, good, eight. Faster, faster teachers. By the way, you can close your cameras. It will save you bandwidth and your bundle as well. So it's recommended you can stop your videos, your cameras. Okay, nine responses still, around 20 is pending. No Mombasa teacher field yet, by the way. Mombasa KG.
Somebody saying not responding. The site is working. It should be on your end. Okay, some Mombasa responses came. <coughs> Screen is not shared at the moment. Somebody is asking for the screen share, not yet. All right, let me send the link again. If you're saying need permission, you should put your email address. You should use everybody must have school email address. That's also what I want to see. If you guys have the school email address, you must have it. Otherwise you can't use the many tools that will be showing here. Teacher Grace is asking. If you can write your email address, I can check if your response reached. Is it like g.mugure? Oh, there are two g.mugure. Somebody filled it twice. <laughs> Come on. Seems I forgot to limit this. Yes, Madam Grace, your response reached and it reached twice actually. <laughs> it is there. She dot Mugure at LIS. All right, we collected 13 responses so far. <clears throat> okay, we better continue then. Uh, before the end of the training, I will ask this again because we need your email addresses. I need to get 30, around 30 email addresses here for you to be part of the Google Classroom that I'm going to create and to share the tasks there. Now, I'm going to do another survey. All right, please <clears throat> don't deal with the, uh, the form. Just focus the screen. Look at your screen. I'm going to launch a pool that's going to be on the, in Zoom. You don't need to go anywhere. It, there are just three simple yes and no questions. Uh, it's asking if you have a laptop or desktop computer at home. Do you have an internet connection at home? Did you order a graphic tablet? I'm launching the poll. Yeah, it should appear on your screen now. Please respond these questions. Yeah, that one easier. Good. Good, it's, it's going well. Nine more person or eight or seven, if you exclude Mr. Mithullah and I. Only 50 teachers remaining, please keep filling. Quick, it should appear on your screen.
only two remaining. Okay, that's good enough. I want to show you the results. It's good, 96%, almost all. The, you have laptop or desktop computer at home, that's very important. 58% uh, has internet connection. That's a bit low, you need internet connection to realize. Only one person ordered graphic tablet. All right. Now we continue. All right, dear kindergarten teachers, the first tool that I'm going to share today, I'm going to share this document as well in the Google Classroom. But as I said, if you didn't put your email address in that form, if you don't know your, your password, somebody saying your password is not working, please con contact your admin reset your password, you have to access your school email address. Please keep this in mind. Uh, so I'll create the Google Classroom. I will share these documents and the recording of this session uh, and the assignments there. So that's very essential. These are basics. If you can't do these things, you can't do the others. So you have to learn this basics because we are gonna build on top of such basics. All right. The first tool I'm going to talk about is PDF Exchange Editor. This is a tool we'll use to open PDF documents and do some modifications when necessary. It's a, it's a great tool. We'll be using the free version of it. The link is here. As, as I said, I'm going to share this document. You'll be able to download it and you need to install it. All right, you'll follow these instructions here. You will try 32-bit version if that doesn't work. You can try 64-bit version. You will download and install on your computer. So what can we do with this tool? Once you install it, you will be able to open your PDF documents with this particular application. Uh, <clears throat> for example, this is a, a PDF file. Even this is a PDF file. Let me see if I have text here. So let me open another one as a sample as well. To keep it aside. Yep. Of course, I can use this tool by using select tool. I can select the text and copy it to a Word document. Or you have a PDF document like this and you want to take one portion of it and use it in a on a word document i want to do a screenshot there is this snapshot tool right up here you can take the snapshot tool and do a screen selection it's copied i'm coming to a word document and right click and paste i can take this like this the there are other functions, but I want to focus one particular function, which is going to be helpful for KG teachers to do some uh, annotations on this. 
under here command commands menu when you go there there is this pencil tool I can select for example I did the screen sharing with my kids and I'm asking my students one what is the next number two after 11 what is it 12 for example you can even do painting kids what is this this is number two it's painting tool is not very strong i will show another one but you can do modifications easily on this tool or get a marker you can do some color filling when it is necessary so it's good to have a graphic tablet or partially you can do it with uh, with your mouse as well like this it's a great uh, modification um, tool on PDF documents you can do your own shapes when you need it on a again on a uh, PDF document there are these shapes here I don't know if you use such things it's a kind of drawing tool as well I can use this to make a, a field object and do modifications and you are doing the, all those things on a PDF document. There is an eraser tool. You can take and erase these things. Or by using the select command, you can select and delete what you did. Delete this color, delete this, this thing. These are all possible. Of course, there is text tool as well. If you want to put it, type in here instead of writing by hand. It can be there can be a situation that you would like to use that. There is this text tool up there. You select. Sorry. Put here, right? Or team, for example. You can do changes. Or you can add a colorful one like these. Is there a question in the chat? When you have a question, you can ask in the chat. Okay, Grace Uyugi, your email address. You need to put this into form, not into chat. Here is the link of the form, but you can do this after the training. Please focus to my screen. Mr. <coughs> Bulan, uh, right now or later, because already in that document it is there. Uh, I'm going to share this document so you will be able to access this and do the downloads. All right. So this is a great free tool. It has paid um, features as well, but for KG teachers, mostly these basic things will help you to do changes on a PDF document to put some circles. You're explaining something to a student. So just, you want to put a circle around it. You can just use the circle tool. Or you want to point out something, you can use this arrow tool 
I show this mostly for higher classes, but um, I think it is valid for KG teachers as well. You're not dealing with text much, maybe, but for um, maybe Bunny's class for uh, Karen and the higher KG, let me say put it that way, they start learning uh, how to read. Uh, you need to highlight a text. Okay, text select tool is here. You're selecting the text, okay, like this. Click the highlight. So you can highlight this. You want to change the color, come to the highlight, right click, properties. So you can change the color to color you want. So it can do highlights, it can put annotations. Please don't write your email addresses here on the chat. Please focus what we are discussing here. You need to put them to the form. You need to register them to form. Yeah, this will be useful for your class, Madame Christian. True. Uh, there are many other features. You can play with them. Um, but I just want to show basically the most basic ones that you can use. For example, this call out. Maybe you're sending instructions, not the student, but to the parent. Uh, of course, in your case, parents will be very much involved. The, without an adult supervision, uh, most of the tasks students cannot achieve on their own. So when you send a document, uh, the instructions should be clear there for the parent. Sometimes parent getting lost. Okay, what am I going to do in this thing? So in that document, you can put some instructions for the parent. For example, um, I'm having this call out tool and saying that you uh, or, or your kid, your child will fill this part with red color all right so at least this will make the things easy for the parents sometimes they're saying what am i gonna do what is my role here i'm not a teacher kind of complaints you may have you can change the double click and take the instructions here or take it here so this is call out Cool. Of course, you can zoom in. So that way you can prepare nice tools, nice instructional materials that you will share with your kids, that you will share with the parents. It will make their life easy and your life easy. Not only that, when you share your screen, you can use, as I mentioned, I'm repeating again here, the pencil tool. When you right click, you can select different colors. And if you have a graphic tablet, things will be easier. Hello. How are you today? So you can do some writings or paintings when it is needed. So that's the first tool I want to share. I'm moving on to the next one. Snip sketch tool. That is a very basic, very simple tool readily available in Windows operating system. It is there. You don't need to download. You don't need to install anywhere. It is available there. It is to take screenshots. I'm seeing that many teachers are struggling with this and they don't know the simple tool available there. What you will do is this. Go to Windows, start button here and just type snip and sketch. It already appears. Snip tool, select. When you open it, it's like this. And you want to take a screenshot, something on your screen without saving it, doing it 
you want to copy it from somewhere to somewhere. So you can use this simple tool. What you will do, just say new, all right? As you can see, the screen is dimmed. That means now you can drag like this. Voila, it did the selection. I select from my screen, it take these things. This tool can be used to explain something not only for students, again, to parents or to your colleague. You guys should collaborate in this thing. Everybody, you all should know that. Teachers should help each other. We are all, we are all in the same ship and please collaborate. When you have a challenge, ask your other colleague. Maybe that colleague knows. So that colleague would like to explain to you. All right. So I can just say, for example, the scenario is this. Uh, teacher Selin, I forgot how to access the pen tool in PDF Exchange Editor. Can you please help me? And the teacher Selin is like, okay, let me send you a screenshot via WhatsApp or via email or whatever you want. Opening the PDF Exchange Editor on her computer and going and selecting this snip and sketch tool. Saying new. Look my teacher, I'm selecting this. Saying that there are these highlighters here. There is pen, there is pencil, there is an highlighter. I'll show each and every of them. Can I use this to change the document to PDF? No, to change the document to PDF, I will show you from Word document to PDF, it is there in the Microsoft Office. I can show that, no worries. Is this like the balloon tool? What balloon tool? Ha, huh, this um, call out tool you're talking about. Yes, it's like a balloon tool you're creating. Uh, my Windows has a snipping tool. Is snipping tool the same thing? Snip and sketch? Exactly, yeah. The old versions having only snip, it's more or less the same thing. In the newer versions, the, the snip and sketch, it has more functionalities. You can download this if you don't have the snip and sketch uh, readily available in your Windows. Just write to Google, Windows snip and sketch. You can get it there. Okay, I took the screenshot and I use this highlighter. I'm saying, look here, you go to the comments menu. Step one. All right. And there you will see the pencil tool. Here. Okay. Then I want to send this. Right up there, there is this function. Copy. I can copy. Now it's copied. It's in the memory of the computer. I can go to the email. All right. Compose. I will send this to teacher Christina maybe. Um, yes, teacher Christina. Screenshot. What I'll do is just come into the email body, right click, okay, and paste it. Voila, that's it. Send. You can do the same on WhatsApp. Go to your WhatsApp, paste it there. There, there will be myriad ways of using this tool. You can select this pencil tool and write on here. This is like, as you can see, uh, a dry a cr crown, even some kind of painting you can do. When you click, you can increase the size. As you can see, this works as a painting coloring tool as well. Of course, since I have a graphic tablet, it's easy for me like this. Or as I said, highlighter, just click. You will have the color options. You can increase the size and do coloring. Either you can just, as I said, put some annotations or you can do colorings or select the highlight and highlight. 
that is a great simple tool. Okay, you want to save this as an image. Okay, here, save, click. Um, uh, let's say image one, and I saved it. Done, my image with everything that I put on it is here. Okay. And now I want to use this in a Word document. What I can do, there are several ways. One, you can hold this, drag and drop. You can have it here. This is number one. Number two, you can go in Word, insert, pictures, go to wherever you save the file, select, okay, and put it there. Maybe this is an image. Again, you will have some instructions. Dear parents, have a look at this image above. Then you do your instructions. Then you will send this document to your parents. Now, somebody was asking if it can be used to create PDF documents. Wait a second, some questions here. It could work for lower classes like KG1, where they need to form numbers from a given spot, yes. But the parent needs to help the child, yes, true. Uh, that's a great tool, yes. Now, how to create a PDF document? Let's see that. From mostly, please, when you are sending a document to kids, to parents, send it as a PDF document. Why? They can do changes and uh, spoil the document. They can edit the PDF. So it will be easier for them rather than sending uh, as a Word document. What you will do from the Word to PDF, it is this. Come here, uh, where's file, save as, okay, browse, select where you are going to save this work. Let me save it here into my KG file. Now down here, that is the key point. It is saying save as type. You want to save it as a Word document? No, if this is a document you will send to the parents, please select here the PDF. Look at this. PDF, it's available there. Maybe most of you already know this. Select. Save. And your computer most likely will open the, that PDF file that you saved automatically. Even if it doesn't do that, go to wherever that file you saved. Where is it, dear parents? Look at this. Yeah. It is available. Now I've, I turned a Word document to a PDF and I can send it to my parents with the proper instructions, explaining how they will do it. There will be a situation, you will explain the parents how to use PDF Exchange Editor maybe, and I can use this, or any other ways. Now you guys will know it, it's up to you, it's uh, up to your creativity. This is a very simple, basic, things, snip sketch and PDF exchange editor. If, even with only these two tools, you can do number of things easily on your computer, share with the parents and students. In our first training, we showed bit paper, but now this thing is uh, a paid thing, not free. So there's an alternative I'd like to share with you. Now that's critical, that's why you must all have your school email accounts to be able to use Google tools. What I'm going to show now is a Google tool. Okay, logging your school email account. This is my school email account. Up there, go there, 
there are Google Apps available here. Click. You will see this drive. You will access your drive. What is drive? Drive is a storage cloud storage place. It's everything saved on the internet. To be able to use these tools, you must have internet connection. All right? Don't forget this. That's important. But when, but when you come here, there are so many tools that you can use. I'm not going to get into all of them, but I want to show one. Here under new, go to more. There, there is Google Jamboard. Google Jamboard. This is a whiteboard. There can be a situation you need a whiteboard on your screen. Click this Google Jamboard. So, what is this Jamboard? It is whiteboard. That's it. Simple. We have the simple tools right there pen tool or a marker I can select, change the color, and I can do some drawings. Maybe I'm telling a story. There was a, maybe you're good in drawing and you have the graphic tablet. Uh, you want to do some simple sketches actually, not a professional painting tool, be careful but you want to do some funny things. The sun is there smiling. It's a beautiful day. I'm not good in sketching, drawing, so, but you can use this tool to do that kind of drawings. Um, but again, <laughs> to be able to use this, you need a, a graphic tablet. With mouse, you can do some things, but uh, it's limited. You can clear whole frame, or when you do some annotations, you can select the eraser and just rub, erase some part of it, okay? And uh, you can create another one. The other one will remain here. You can create another one, change the color, do some drawings. And you can use the select tool. Oops. If there's an object now, I will show that too. Now, can I add an image here and work on it? Yes, you can. Now you will use snip and sketch tool more in most of the cases. Okay, let's say you didn't like the, the painting tool available in the PDF. Yeah, colors are limited because this is not really designed for coloring. Uh, but uh, you want to take this number two or this flower. Okay. Uh, you will use Snip Sketch. By the way, there's a shortcut key for this. Windows logo key. Shift S. I use this tool very often. So I use the shortcut key, Windows Shift S. And I can just take this flower. I took it. What I'm gonna do, copy. I copied it. Go to my Jamboard. I'm here now. Control V. Control V, which is what? Paste. Nice, now my flower is here. I can resize. And as I'm singing a song for my kids, maybe they are before the screen, they are watching, they are enjoying. There was a very beautiful flower with different colors. Kind of you can do some stuff on it, or you're doing counting. <coughs> okay, kids, let's count the petals of this flower. 
This is number one. This is number two. Okay, Jaden, tell me which color shall I use here? Maybe he's responding. Use green. Okay, number three. Number four. Which other color? Which one is this? Red. Number five, six, seven, eight. Kind of. So I'm not a KG teacher. It's up to your creativity. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff here. When you move this thing, these things remain here, of course. Can I save the work that I did here? Is it possible? Answer is yes. Actually, it's already saving it in your drive. You can click up there like this. You can name this. You can say hmm, numbers for kg. Okay. It is saved. Is there a question there? Let me see. Is it possible to write on the board like when you're doing spellings? Um, what do you mean? I didn't get that question. When you're doing spelling, yeah. If you can elaborate this question, I will, I will try to help you. Um, so you can save this document in your drive. In my drive, number for kg. It is here. All the pages that I have is saved. But you want to have it in your computer as a PDF document. What you will do, come here, right upper corner, there are three dots there. Click, download as PDF or save frame as an image. That's also possible. Let's do this, save as an image. Voila, the image that you drew for that particular page, it is right here. So you can use this for drawing as well. Uh, or say download as a PDF. It downloads, open. All the pages you made are there. If you, for example, good in drawing, do some sketch, tell a story there and send this to kids. Or while you're doing a live lesson, you can do that. I'm going to show how to do pre-recorded lessons as well by using a, another simple tool. Whatever you're doing on your screen, you can record this and share it with the parents. So some parents are not available at certain times or the kid is not in the mood. You know, your KG teachers are facing that kind of things a lot. Uh, won't be able to attend the live lesson, but they don't want to miss it. So you can record and share it some small, small uh, lessons, some questions there. Uh, I think she meant while teaching on Bandicam, can she write her spelling using both uh, at the same time? Maybe. Bandicam, yeah, we'll show Bandicam. If that is what you mean, we'll show that. She meant writing words on board. Writing words on board, hey, yeah, of course you can write words on board you mean like this hello if that is what you meant you can use a marker how are you typing okay you're talking about typing. Uh, this tool doesn't have a typing tool, but it has sticky note. It has this. I don't know if you guys really using typing, but you can add sticky note only. Uh, this is a note. Save it. So it has something like this. Not exactly writing, uh, typing but you can put such notes on it. Yeah. Okay. 
we continue. So PDF Exchange Editor, um, Synip Sketch Two, uh, Jumbo Board, Jamboard, sorry, uh, Jamboard. We saw these tools so far. Now we're coming to the last one for today. Bandicam. Now, this is a screen recording tool. Screen recording is what? You are recording whatever you're doing on your screen. At the moment, this session is being recorded. I'm going to share it's a screen recording. Uh, but without using Zoom, can I do screen record? You can do the screen recording in Zoom without meeting with anyone. That's possible as well. If you start a meeting, uh, you can start screen recording. We can show this later maybe. Uh, but there is this other tool. Uh, I'm going to share, as I said, this document with this link up there. You can download and install in your computer. Uh, the free version allows only to make 10 minutes videos. But for most of the cases, for many situations, that could be enough. Uh, or you can record 10 minutes plus 10 minutes plus 10 minutes, three uh, or four, five consecutive videos as well. And you can share this on your learning management system. Uh, we'll be using Firefly tomorrow. We'll delve into that, uh, how to share this content on a learning management system or on Google Classroom. Maybe you got training on Google Classroom uh, as well. That's also a way of sharing the things uh, or you like to email it. That's also possible. Okay. Once you download this thing, you will install on your computer. Uh, the reason I chose this application, it's very easy to use. Um, it's already installed on my computer. Let me open it. Okay. This is the interface. I have a record button here. When I click, it will start recording immediately. It starts from here, get started. Okay. Up there, I have my webcam. You must have a webcam, okay? Uh, if you have it, when you click this webcam icon, please go and select this at webcam overlay video. That's important. You will appear in the right lower corner of your screen as you're recording the screen. So kids can see you there. You can do something on the screen. The sound settings, record sound, that must be selected, of course. Your microphone settings should be properly set. Say OK. Here there are these options, screen recording mode. You can do the, use this one to select a portion of your screen. But mostly, we use full screen mode. OK. Let me show you one of the videos that I did some time back. Oops. I showed for the other classes. Let me show that. Yeah. Dear students, now, I want to solve one question about distance time graphs. This question is from 2019 past paper, paper four. All right, let's look at the question. Figure 1.1 shows the distance time graph for the... So this is, of course, for higher classes. As you can see, the teacher is here. And uh, on the screen, he's doing some problem solving. But for KG teachers, how you can use, that's now, again, up to you. Uh, but uh, as I'm doing, for example, some coloring, I'm talking about numbers, I can do that recording. Let's do the recording. What I would do is only clicking this record button. It started recording. It's showing me the time here. My voice is being recorded too. 
everything on my screen is being recorded at the moment. Uh, as I said, the free version goes only up to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you should start recording again for another video. Then you can minimize this. <clears throat> you can come and create a board here. Good morning, my butterflies, my bunnies. I hope you're feeling well today. Today we'll discuss about number two. Maybe I'm just making up, all right. Uh, maybe you, you already prepared your screen, of course, a new. Today we'll learn, I'm selecting. I'm now using the, all the tools that I taught you guys. Taking this to um, the screen, going where is my and pasting it here. You should prepare all these things. You can create many screens. Put number two, then number three, maybe. Okay, what do we see? This is number two. Uh, here, number two, one, two, this is number two, this is how we write it, this is how we spell it. It's up to you. I'm just recording my screen and making this content available for my parent. Later on, a uh, parent can just play this, put the student in front of the uh, tablet or PC, whatever they are using. You know, our kids, I already have younger ones, one is three year old, another one is six year old. They like watching those YouTube videos. And some of those YouTube videos are just talking about colors. For example, Blippi, I'm sure most of you know. Uh, showing the numbers in a mostly amusement parks in the colorful places. Uh, so they like watching these pre-recorded things. Uh, of course, their attention span is not very long. 10, 15 minutes of videos uh, will help them. So you can do such a recording, share with the parents. So those parents who won't be able to attend live classes, they won't feel left out. They will know that always there is an option two. Or you can just tell a story. Okay, you're drawing or uh, you can show the story on the screen. You can find that document, that book. Or you already have a storybook. All of you has mobile phones, right? Take good pictures of those pages, show it there, read that story. That can be a bedtime story for them. 10 minutes, they are watching with their tablets maybe, or maybe the parents watching and telling that story to their kids. It will be good for the kids, you know, the, at that age, those kids having a, a good uh, relation, good attachment with their uh, teachers. It will be good for them to hear their teacher's voice at that time, telling the story. Uh, I shared that uh, example with one of KG teachers. I think Madam Kristen, I told you too. Uh, in US, they are doing these live lessons. Uh, in the evening, they are calling parents uh, around 9, 10, whatever the, the sleeping time, and giving them live bedtime stories. So. As I said at the beginning, KG teachers must be creative. The, you should go out of your comfort zone. Uh, you should think out of the box. You should come up with the idea so that you attach and attract the KG parents. They are all complaining that we're the one doing the 100% of the work. This is what they are saying. So why should I pay the school? What is the point of uh, enrolling? online class for kg but when you use these tools like an expert uh, with all of colors and educational value as well then your parents will see that it's good that i'm part of the program that's very very important i'm about to finish but there's one more thing i want to show this it's important that's i hope uh, you guys understand so far well. Uh, I think the graphic time, okay. YouTube nursery rhymes, sing along, maybe alpha blocks. Yeah, you can use all these things with the kids. Uh, as you share your screen, you can open a YouTube video and sing with them. 
for five minutes in there before they are screened they they sync together uh, you can use all those things all together uh, of course I recorded the video and where is this video let me show that when you open this application videos it's here I can go to my folder the last recorded video is available right here you better name it with the relevant content date whatever you did there and you can play it it started recording it's showing me the time here my voice is being recorded too everything on my screen is being recorded at the moment uh, as I said the free version goes only up to 10 minutes after 10 minutes you should start recording again for a day butterflies my bunnies I hope you're feeling well today today will add your screen of course a new what do we see this is number two uh, here just like this simple it's easy if it is the first time you're encountering with that kind of tools you might it might look scary but please you should try play with them do some mistakes and learn with your mistakes. When you start a live lesson or before live lesson, your old documents must be ready. As you know, the attention span of your kids are very short. Uh, if you start scrambling, oh, okay, uh, where is this document? Uh, I let the copy from here, oh, okay, here and there, you will lose them. So your things should be ready, uh, everything before you start the lesson, even for the recording. Likewise, make everything ready. You can create many boards here. You can attach them there. Uh, so make a nice flow of your lesson. Okay, last one. Now, you have a lot of work with the images. Sometimes teachers are sharing really low quality images. We don't want this. It is, it is bad. Don't do that. I even gave some uh, verbal warning and I just kindly told the teachers that use good quality images how do you sort good quality images okay i need let's say clock i'm writing here clock all right okay then i'm going to images this is how we do google image search fine but don't take the any image that you like it may not be at the quality that you need what you will do how to find the high resolution images is this i recorded a video and it gave me an option of upload in youtube we, yeah kind of know how to go about uploading in lms that is tomorrow lms is tomorrow not today first uh, be familiar with these tools lms Record uploading the LMS is very easy, don't worry. Uh, okay, focus here, please. When you do this image search, there's this function here, tools. Click. And uh, right there, it's talking about size. This is the size of the image you're searching. Click. And select large so this will make sure that you're looking at good quality images high resolution images how do I understand this right down there when I come to the image it's written this is in the unit of pixels in computer world we don't use millimeters centimeters kilometers to measure the dimensions of the images it is pixels if something is 900 and above 900 and above that's mostly a good one like look this one this is 1200 for example that is even better higher resolution you don't need a real clock image you need clock cartoon still the largest selected so i'm getting high resolution images however however please do not use images with watermarks look at this one 
Yes, its quality seems okay, but it has these watermarks. You need to buy this image normally to get rid of these watermarks, but we don't want to use the paid ones. But don't use this one. Look for the alternatives. There is another one. You see, no watermarks. Clean, nice. You can take and use this. This one has watermarks. Don't use it, please, in your documents, in your work. Look for other ones. Okay, so this is how to search for high quality images. I can right click, copy image, okay. Either go to your Word document, Control V, that is paste. And you will have your image there. Hold from the corner and give the size that you like. For example, I'm searching for a keyboard. I'm saying images, tools, size, large. Um, let me select a much cleaner one. Yes. For example, this one, I'm copying, going to my Jamboard, Control V. Since the image is big a bit, Yeah, so I want to show my teachers the control C, control V on your keyboard. Sometimes I'm using these terms, but later I see that teachers, they don't know. Control key is here, hold this one. And control V, this is control V combination. Hold control and press V. So it will paste. How do I copy? Again, control C. Control C, copy. Copy. That's a very basic, but maybe some of you don't know. All right, that's the end of my lesson. Any questions? Can one snip and sketch directly the images or one should download the images first? You can snip and sketch everything that you see on your screen. There is no... Okay. Wait a second, Mr. Lutula, let me finish this. For example, I open this. I, I don't want to download, but when I snip and sketch, be careful, you're not taking the full quality of the image. Whatever you see on the screen, you're taking this. If you want to use the full quality, you need to download or copy. Yes, Mr. Lutva. Uh, in the, our e-learning platform, I shared one website. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, if you allow me, I, can, I want to show them. It's mm -hmm. a little bit, and uh, during the virtual classes, maybe every day, 30 minutes, one hour, whatever. This can be effective, I don't know. Okay, can share I... your screen and show us. Yeah. Uh, so, this uh, Starfall, this is the, the paid version, is uh, full access, but there's a free site as well. For example, uh, let me copy this one to chat button. So, and I'm not sure it will be useful or not because of I'm not good in the KG, what they're doing. Let me copy so they can check and then maybe they can use it. Mm -hmm. so for example, kindergarten. Uh, kindergarten site is the ABC to how to turn. For example, if you open one, for example, mm -hmm. imagine I, I opened before it's the letter right. A. Uh, so there's a uh, now you're not, I think, hearing, but computer sound I can give out well, it's giving me A is to uh, open the, the sound. Compu computer audio, share computer audio too. Mm -hmm. And this one they can uh, make it. 
Let me make it a record this time. But the free version, how is it? It allows to do what? So this kind of things, there's some activities also the letters maybe is the, uh, sorry, the subjects here. I don't know, I like it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I don't know, the colors, the other things. Yeah. And some activity teachers can explain or they can open directly uh, the sound, they can check their sound. So where are we opening the share uh, computer sound here? Let me show again, for example, colors here. Mm -hmm. Let me share. Mm -hmm. For example, colors. All right. Yeah, our teachers can discover. Ed. Yeah, this kind of things. Yes, they can make it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So they can, red, red. They can check this one, and it, maybe there's a paid version. Maybe if school can make it. I don't know. There's some resources here. Mm -hmm. So I want to just good. show it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Mm -hmm. Stop the sharing. All right. That's the end of our lesson the teachers again please fill that form i'm sharing the link one more time so far 24 responses here this is not the full class if you're having challenges with your uh, account please contact your e-learning coordinator in your school and fill this form i shared it uh, sorry I share the link again, copy it, and move, make sure all KG teachers part of this lesson. Okay.